Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 18 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, I'm working on stuff. I'm working on all kinds of good stuff, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm going to have to do something about these things being so close. I need to get that glass a little bit taller. Um, last episode, we visited the end. It was quite... A different turn of events for me uh, a, a, a strange episode to be sure and I think I had a good time we had a good time exploring the end we got seven ender lily seeds and guess what well I didn't get seven we got like what two or three but in addition to the four we had so we were good um, I planted these things and everything's running we've already got 14 ender pearls which is awesome we had two iterations of growth go on those seven that I had and now I actually got two ender lilies out of the deal so I came over here um, a little bit after letting these things be planted and checked inside and found ender lilies times two and 14 ender pearls sitting inside dropped a storage drawer right onto my storage drawer system they sucked right in and then I made sure to lock them with my key so we're cool how great is that um, so we've got ender pearl production going on We've already got 14 ender pearls. Do you have any idea? 14 ender pearls? Like, that's an insane amount compared to what I'm used to having throughout this series. So we can probably work on some cool stuff. Uh, one of the first things I would like to work on is a phantom face. Because I want to get my main base cleaned up and get this stinking thing out of here. So let's get those ender pearls and maybe start working on what a phantom face is and how it works. Because I'm excited to try it. So let's just grab a stack. 14. Grab all that I got. It's fine. It's cool. We'll be good. It'll be all right. Um, yeah, those things definitely grow pretty well. I mean, it doesn't grow super fast, but it grows fast enough that it should do me pretty well by the way of ender pearl production. If we really need to get a crazy amount of ender pearls, we can get more lilies going on, or we can work on uh, something else, something mob spawner-ish. But those things usually require large amounts of RF. And while I'm doing great on RF at this moment, like I'm doing really good. I got no complaints about my RF production. Um, I wouldn't say that I have enough that I could go crazy with like high energy machines. We're definitely going to have to upgrade. Let's see. Down here, we don't have any backlog. Got a little bit of fluid in the pipes there. And uh, my generators are full and stopped. So that's cool. Let's try out Phantom Faces. Because it's one of the things that I've been working towards. And I want to do it. So what we want is a Phantom Energy Face. Uh, for this, we're going to need a regular phantom face, and we're going to need some empowered redstone crystals, which is a nether brick, a regular brick, redstone, and rose red. We might have rose red hanging around, but we may also not. The right answer is not. Okay, that's fine. Um, but we definitely have redstone, and we definitely have the ability to make bricks. Uh, let's get like, what I'll probably do is do like I did with the lapis, where I'll do um, the block form instead of the individual item form. Is that sound kind of a plan? I, I'm hoping that's kind of a plan because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll probably also want to get a handful of nether bricks. And I really got to sort out a better item storage system. Like right now, we're cool. I didn't mean to sagmill you, I meant to smelt you. And you can sagmill nether rack all day long if you want. I don't know what it sagmills into, but we'll find out. You turned into what appears to be nothing. Cool. Sagmill. Ah, you have a 15% chance to make sulfur dust. Good to know. All right. Speaking of sulfur, we have a little bit from somewhere. Uh, rose red. Should not be the hardest thing in the world to find, considering we're in a plains biome. There should be flowers everywhere. Right, flowers? Everywhere. I see some roses. Cool. I'm pretty sure the sagmill recipe exists for these things as well. We're gonna be sure. Cool. I'm glad to have a wand of, uh, or the staff of traveling right now. We might even set some stuff up with these too, now that we've got ender pearls. Yeah. I'm so excited to have ender pearls, guys. Have you noticed? So I think sag milling this, Poppy. No? Okay. Uh, what are the options to craft it with? Uh, for that, we get one. Um, crusher. Crusher gets me three. Okay, so that's cool. I was right uh, in that it would work. Hey, some machine has a processing to get me extra rose red. I'll take it. Thank you. 
Um, and let's get like a redstone block. So what I'm gonna do is teach the empower the recipe that I want to automate. So remember we set this up last episode. Um, we'll just break through the floor like this. So what we can do is just say, you are gonna get rose red. Right, this is a display stand, right? You are gonna get a redstone block. You're gonna get redstone. You're gonna get nether brick. And you're gonna get regular brick. Cool. So in theory, if I can find my way out of here. Another good way to travel around town. I might not even need to break this. Correct. Look at that. Cool, right? Um, one, 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 and one. Did I put block of redstone underneath you? Insert block of redstone. Yeah, you should totally be going in there. And then we can configure the extract when we have the item in a minute, but I assume the block of redstone works on that thing. Maybe I am wrong. Empowered redstonia crystal block is made by... Oh, a redstonia crystal. Ha! Derp. When dire derps. It's for reals. Not redstone. Redstonia crystal. Much better. No wonder you weren't accepting the item. Now we're cooking. And then we'll just program this with the uh, resultant item. Once the crafting completes. And then we can get phantom faces. Well, at least phantom energy faces. We're also going to need to get empowered diamantine crystal. One of those blocks of ender pearls. Uh, this is a... So this requires a diamantine crystal. Clay, clay, and light blue dye. Not a big deal for the most part. Diamantine crystal, by the way, is uh, atomic reconstructor diamond. So resource-wise, I think I'm okay empowering this guy because it's diamonds. Like clay, we have a ton of. Light blue dye, that's lapis and bone meal. We have a ton of that. I'm not gonna have a problem with that, so that I'll do one item at a time. Cool. So before we ditch this thing, let's make sure that our Extract whitelist includes empowered you. Cool. And then if we want to empower some diamantine crystals, it is diamond, a block of clay, right? And we're going to want two of these, so let's get both sets right now. Okay. Um, then we're going to want. So two clay per, one clay block, and then light blue dye, right? So two more clay. I'm only gonna need one light blue dye. We should have a bunch of bones. I'm pretty sure sag milling bones works. And that'll get you more bone meal than you would normally get. So we can combine these two guys. Light, light blue, that looks good. So let's, before I do that stuff down there, we're gonna, that. Cool. Okay. Boy, that teleporting is amazing and fun. So insert will be diamantine crystals. Uh, the insert over here can be clay. Okay. The insert over here can be clay. And like I said, if we run out of slot recipes, we can upgrade this. You can be a clay block. And you can be light blue dye. Cool. So then if I put... There we go. Nice. Okay. And then I will add you to the export whitelist. And then what you should do is wind up over here. Cool. I like it. All right, so now uh, I think we just need a chest and we need some of these dudes and we should be good. Yep, I got wood on me. Zoinks. Uh, Phantom face, we need one of those ender pearl blocks. And we can make a phantom face, hooray. 
Achievement get, zoom zoom items. Energy phantom face comes from doing this. Boom. So now, uh, the only other thing I need is a phantom connector. Wow, more enderpearl. But I'm pretty sure this thing lasts forever. So, double blaze rods or blaze dust. Sag mill it up. Is there blaze dust in here? There is. Oh well. Time to add you to the filter in here. Smart whitelist. Okay, two of you plus two of you. Ender Pearl, Phantom Connector, rocking it. Cool. So then what I should be able to do is the following. We're gonna break this energy laser relay. Okay, let's use some power so that we demonstrate that this is working. So let's sag mill a piece of cobblestone. That should totally work for me. Okay, we're losing power. Aw, totally lost power. All right, so we're at 998, 997,000 RF, right? We're gonna pop up to our ceiling and we're gonna deposit a phantom face up here, the energy phantom face that we just made. Cool. Um, we should be able to energy laser relay it. Now I think that's still too far, so we're probably still gonna have to, let's place that dude there and let's get our laser relays. Laser relay, hooker up our dude. Yeah. See why I wanted this uh, staff of traveling? It's the best. Um, so I think what I'll do is break this guy, place him back down, and then we're gonna link this to this, this to this, and this to this. So we have something of a chain going on. Cool. Now all we need to do is link the capacitor bank to the phantom face. See, it says it's not connected to anything. So I think we do that, uh, so we can right click you. Now we'll right click you first. Block stored to this connector, cool. So this thing is bound to this block. We right click this dude, shift right click, block connected, cool. And now we're getting power. Awesome. How great is that? You can see the little uh, particle effects indicating that there's a phantom connection going on there. That's neat, I like that. Now, this thing could even go under the floorboards if we really wanted it to. So it could be completely hidden. If we wanted to. I think for now we'll leave it just so I can, like, check it every now and then and see how the capacitor is doing. But overall, that's pretty awesome, right? So that's kind of my plan for the uh, connection system and how everything's going to work. So we'll have energy faces connected to capacitor banks inside the building so that there's no wiring and, and lasers going through walls. And I think that's gonna look pretty cool, right? And we'll probably do something similar with those. I'm down to six ender pearls. I could make another one of them, but I'm gonna hold off. I think for now, uh, I'm gonna let my farm grow. And then I wanna work on something. Uh, I did lose my drill or my, my pickaxe, didn't I? Maybe I wanna make a drill. That might be cool. I also wanna manage storage a little bit better. Um, I think what I need is mod specific item storage. And I just have to figure out where that's gonna live. Um, so I could, and I should also handle some of this stuff, right? So this is kind of flowing like crazy. And if I could do something with andesite and diorite and granite and dirt, that would probably go a long way towards making my life a little bit easier. So I probably wouldn't mind some storage drawers going on in here for generic resources, but I would also like to have more storage and this room's a little bit small for its current utilization, but I wouldn't mind a mod storage chest. I don't think. So this is my kind of to-do smeltery chest. I might wind up throwing them in here. And if I, well, yeah, we'll see. I'll consider it. Um, just have to come up with a good plan for storage. So give me a minute, I'll come back, and then we'll figure out what, if anything, we're gonna do. So it looks like drills are not too bad to make. We're gonna need a drill core, which I found, which is pretty nice that I found it because it looks pretty expensive actually, uh, down underground at some point. I found a few of them actually. Um, we're gonna need to go along with this drill, three diamonds, 
two advanced coils, and three Inori crystal blocks, which I can get directly from the Inori crystal system. So three of you, and I still have these guys on my inventory. So let's cook you up, and let's convert you into blocks. Did I need four of them? I think I needed four of them, didn't I? Nope, three, that was good. I got the right amount of items for a change. Cool. So that's a drill. He is pretty nice. So if we take a look at the uh, actually additions manual about drills, um, uh, it works like a pickaxe and a shovel. And it uses RF per block and we can charge an energizer and upgrade it by sneak right clicking with it. There's a lot of upgrades you can put on drills and they're really pretty cool. Um, you can upgrade your drill to work like uh, a hammer so that it digs in the three by three area. Um, you can do other kinds of upgrades like give it uh, fortune and that kind of stuff. Um, note though that if you put speed, mining, or fortune upgrades, they need their previous tiers installed to work. So in other words, if you want to have fortune three, you need to put fortune one, fortune two, and fortune three all into the upgrades. Um, now there's a certain number of upgrades that you can put in there, one, two, three, four, five. So this means that if you want, for example, um, let's see, speed augment three, that's going to use one, two, three of the five slots. So keep that in mind. Uh, fortune one and two, there's only two fortune levels, so that's nice. Uh, this guy requires, Fortune 1 requires an empowered diamantine crystal, so a block of diamond. Um, to get Fortune 2, uh, we're going to need Ender Casing, which doesn't look too bad. Requires a little bit more diamonds, basically. But I can get Fortune 3 with a block, so like 13 diamonds, 4 Ender Pearls, and some Glowstone and Redstone. That totally seems powerful and doable. I can I can probably pull that off. Um, and then we can also get 3x3 three three mining. Ooh, fancy. More diamonds required for that and iron. Uh, or if I want 5x5 five five mining, I can do that as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, drill block placing augment. Eh, I don't know if I'm going to want that thing. Silk touch augment. Probably not interested. Empowered. I'm guessing this is emerald. Yeah, totally. Makes sense. And then if you want to speed them up like that, it's totally doable too. Cool. So let's go for fortune first. So that's going to be a diamond block. And then we're also going to need four more diamonds. So let's get the 13 diamonds. So we're already like burning through our diamond supply, right? Uh, we're going to need some of you guys. Uh, we're going to need some of that clay. So we're going to need four, five clay blocks. And then we're going to need, like, 10 clay. Am I doing this math right? I mean, I guess we'll find out in a minute, right? So let's juice this guy up. Ten of you, the diamantine crystal block, and the clay. Oh, and diamantine. And I also need the light blue dye. That's right. So we're going to need five of that. I've currently still got... I thought I had a few left of that. No, I used it all. Okay, that's right. Um, so let's do... It's a little bit more than I need to use, but that should be fine. And the diamond team block I can put on there manually, because why not? Cool. Empowered diamond team. This thing can always be used manually, don't forget. Like, I just want to automate some things that I might craft frequently and in large quantities, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, so for Fortune Augment 3, that's pretty much like I'm good to go. Get a bit of redstone ready. You're still cooking. Lots of energy, apparently. There it goes. Nice. Ha. Huh. Okay. Um, so, augment one, 
check. Augment goes in here. And then my drill should, in theory, I don't know if it tells you in any way, shape, or form, but in theory, it should have Fortune 1 on it. Uh, luckily, the next upgrade gives you both. So I'm just going to need four Ender Pearls and a block of Black Quartz. I've got that going. And then we can make this bad boy. Didn't I get? Oh, that left in the inventory. Uh, and then I'm also going to need another set of Glowstone, right? Yeah, uh, 16 more glowstone. So this thing followed by this thing. I mean, since I lost my pickaxe last episode, I feel like this is totally the approach to take. Cool. So I think to charge this, we just need to throw it in our energizer. Uh, we can also throw it in the capacitor. So if there's not enough power in this energizer at the moment, which it totally doesn't... Ah, uh, yeah, exactly enough. Sweet. Um, it could also go directly into here, and this could charge it as well for me. So should we go downstairs and try this thing out? What I also might want to make is a speed augment. So that's easy. That's just some iron, right? Let's get a speed two, um, which is a cake. Uh, eggs and milk buckets and wheat and sugar. That's actually something I might be able to pull off. Do I have three eggs? I do. Okay. So eggs. I'm gonna need a bunch of sugar cane, which I could have sworn. Yes, I've got some of. Um, some Minori crystals, which are just iron. So if I want speed one, that's four, and if I want speed two, that's another four. And I want to compare the speeds because I've actually not really played with this drill before, and I want to kind of give it a try. And if I want, I could either get it to top speed or I can make it a three by three mining for four more diamonds. But I've already got a hammer, so I'm debating whether or not I want to do that. Like I may, or I'm thinking not, um, just cause, but you know, we'll see. So let's get to crafting, shall we? I've got my egg, I should have some wheat handy. I don't, I'll take a nap. Go outside, get our wheat, and then I can make cake, and then I can make the two tiers of speed upgrade. Dude, look how well grown things are over there. You see that pro kill? That was pro zombie death. So speed one should be easy, right? Just just turn all this into sugar, because we're pretty much there. Uh, speed one just needs that redstone your crystal. I thought, yep, we've got check. Now for speed two, we have to make cake, which means three milk buckets. I don't know if I have milk buckets handy. Two. Make a third. Sounds like a zombie with an armor piece on. That's preventing him from getting killed by... Totally a broken milk texture bucket, which means I have to report a bug. There's a zombie right on the other side of this wall. Hooray! The cake is a lie. So much inventory cleaning to do at this point. Um, yeah, didn't mean to throw that egg, but that's okay. Eggs aren't that precious. I'll get chickens at some point and automate egg production. Putting away things I know will sort properly, because I still haven't totally fixed my inventory sorting issues. All right, so now I should be able to make the tier two. Nice. All right, so let's go downstairs and try this thing out, right? And I'll probably wind up making the tier three speed augment and then calling it a day. Um, but I want to at least try and see what this thing looks like mining resources with and without the speed augments. And we'll see what speed two feels like, and then we'll go from there about maybe doing speed three. I think that's a good plan, right? Um, so I probably don't need you ever again, because you're going to be my new pickaxe pal. Yay! Let's try it, huh? Dude, that feels pretty good right off the bat. Now if I put speed augment 1 in there, and speed augment 2, I don't know about you guys, but I can totally tell the difference. 
actually pretty nice. Nice. Uh, what's the three mine? Eh, it requires diamonds, that's right. The other options would be drill block placing. Meh, don't care about that, and silk touch. So this thing can go all the way to a 5x5 five five miner, by the way. All right, let's go back to the base and check out... Oh, by the way, you can put batteries in it to augment its internal storage of power. Or we can carry batteries in our inventory. Let's check those out. So let's check out batteries. At some point, I have to automate this, which I think I'm totally going to work on soon. Uh, battery Mark 1 looks like that. He can hold a million RF. And Battery Mark 2 looks like this, and he can hold... 2 million RF. Sweet. Mark 3, which is a triple battery, requires a double, another advanced coil, and some empowered crystals. Uh, Mark 4, quadruple battery, is 8 million RF, and that is more empowered with a triple. And then Mark 5 is a quintuple, sad, requires diamonds. So that's not bad. What's, I don't think we've empowered iron yet, have we? So that is a snowball, a button, gray dye, and cobblestone. I think for now, Mark 2 is good. Mark 3... Yeah, it requires the empowering. And also, I don't have any more advanced coils on me. Um, so what I should be able to do is charge this bad boy up. He holds 2 million RF. He's going to charge inside the 1,000 RF. Uh, it's a little bit slow. Let's go over here. What's up, dude? Uh, in theory, this guy should be faster at charging him. Right? That seem faster to you guys? I wasn't really paying attention, but it seems good to me. Yeah, we're charging at 4,000 RF a tick. I doubt that we would be charging at such a high speed. Now, at some point, these guys should kick back on because we dropped below our threshold. Awesome. Love it when the automation works. So this guy can hold 500,000 RF. I'll even right click this thing. So what I should be able to do is sneak right click and it'll change it to charging other items in inventory. And that should have charged this back up to 500,000. Sneak right click to turn it off. Cool. Now does it have to be on my hotbar? No, that's good to know. Sometimes those things have to be in your hotbar. This one does not, which I'm thrilled with. All right, so that's a thing that I'm really happy to see. Um, we really need to sort out this situation that we've got going on. Uh, part of this is that I have so many mod-based items in here. We've got sterling generators and extra utilities generator and fluid placer. Like I would, What I should do is have a modded items chest and specify from certain mods, at least one or two of them. Um, it's gonna be a hassle um so i could do a couple things i could either clear out these two setups and have four chests over on this side um this is kind of a nice to have but it's not a super need to have or i could expand my storage room a few ideas let's come back in a minute all right guys i've got a basic idea i went ahead and grabbed myself a moving wand which i got from that little end adventure last episode. Notice that it even recharged itself from my double battery. Thanks, double battery. You're the best. Uh, I'm gonna right click this oak chest and move it right over to here. Uh, let's put it in this room. We'll put it, I'm not really using this furnace ever. So that's where you're going. Boom. <laughs> uh, I can even rotate this thing with a Yetta wrench. Great, that works. Uh, and sort my coal. That's good. Now, you were really just a chest full of miscellaneous junk that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. Um, mostly because my storage inventory has been a problem. Um, so let's figure out how we're going to fix that. All right, so I placed a new iron chest here. Um, and into this, we're going to configure this guy. And we're going to specify certain modded items. We'll say any items from, for example, actually additions, can auto-sort in here. So if we do that, we, we set mod mode on and if we smart whitelist it i'm assuming that it can handle that item filter actually additions is that oh let's try another mod uh let's put extra utility stuff in there too does that sound cool put this in there and then we will smart whitelist heated redstone generator Interesting that you picked up that, but you didn't pick up the empowered redstonia crystal. It's weird. I'll take more metadata too, because it really doesn't matter. But eh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so in theory, anything from extra utilities or actually additions should be sorted into this chest. So for example, the fluid placer. 
If we sort you, you should land over here. Yay! Um, let's put... So these are gonna... This is kind of gonna be like my tech mods chest for now. So I'm also gonna put Ender.io stuff in here, right? Um, so what I'll do is... Oh, didn't want to pick you up. Smart whitelist. And then... Anything Ender.io related like these things should also wind up over here. Nice. Okay, cool. So this helps clean things up a little bit. What I think I'm gonna do is move you to here and move you to here and move you to here. And what that should do is start sorting everything. Hooray. And what it should have done is sorted everything that belongs over here, over here, and everything that belongs over here, over here. Nice, and then I can swap these back. <laughs> Moving wand for the win. Cool, and that's how I will clean out for now this chest. So that is super awesome. Um, other things that I have right now are Super Circuit Maker. Like that could be another storage. Um, RF Tools maybe could also live inside this chest. I don't wanna have too many things in this chest because um, then it'll start to overflow and be hard to keep track of, right? We already got three mods in here. Um, I might want another, I don't have another one of these guys ready to go, but at some point we might expand that, right? But for now, we're pretty cool. So I'm gonna wrap up the episode and I'm gonna go mine because I could probably use more diamonds at this point. So what I'll say is for now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next episode and figure out our next steps for all this cool stuff. Um, look, Enderman, I see you teleporting around my base. Calm down, buddy. So before we wrap up, one thing I wanted to look at was my Enderpearl farm. Dude, we are currently at growth level six out of seven on all these things. How cool is that? So over the course of this episode, which was like maybe one hour it took me to record this thing, maybe a little bit more, um, we've gone from growth level like one to growth level six. So that means pretty much like within an hour or two, we're getting a set of Ender Pearls, a set of nine Ender Pearls. How awesome is that? And we're getting a few Ender Lilies as well every now and then. So if we get a little lucky with Ender Lilies, I might expand this farm a little bit further. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So yeah, totally hyped. Anyway, time to wrap up. Daryl 20 signing off. Gonna go mine. I'm ready for my mining. I've got my mining stuff ready to go. I hear an Enderman. I should probably get some more cows. I'm hungry. All right, take it easy, guys.